Today, we are back with a quick update for the robotics inventor tree and the stun baton, right here in Savin's World. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Savin's World, the gaming channel for the average gamer by an average gamer. And today we are back in the Savin's World testing grounds with a quick update on a couple of videos I have already released. We're going to update you on the robotic sledge and the stun baton. There have been some uh, some patches, some updates that have come out recently, and I just wanted to update the videos that I made earlier just to give you the most recent information on these weapons. So let's head on inside, let's get everything we need, and we will get this party started. Now the first thing I want to touch base on is the modability of the robotic sledge. You folks will notice that um, on, when I did my video, I was having a lot of trouble mo modifying the robotic sledge. I would go on here, click modify, and I would always get this error message. That is because the weapons that I used were spawned from the creative menu. And at the time of recording, anything, any robotic sledge spawned from the creative menu was not moddable. However, let me go ahead and uh, grab a robotic sledge. It doesn't really matter the, uh, the the tier here. And now, boom, it is now moddable. Both crafted sledges and um, sledges grabbed from the creative menu can be modded now. Uh, so the ones that I spawned in earlier when I originally did this, the reason I was having the problem is because there was a bug in the creative menu spawned robotic sledges, which made them so they could not be modded. However, they are 100% moddable now. So we will go over exactly what mods are available for the robotic sledge and what they do. So give me one second and I will uh, grab those and we will get that going right now. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I got myself two tier six robotic sledges and all of the mods that can go into the, uh, the this weapon here. So let's really quick, let's go through the mods that are available for the uh, robotic sledge. As you would imagine, most of the melee weapon uh, or the uh, tool mods are available as well as the grips and some miscellaneous mods as well. So we'll start off with the weighted head. It's a modification for all melee and tools, adds the chance to stun and slow victims. This is a very useful mod uh, for, for the for the robotic sledge for, for sure. Uh, the next four here are the, two, are the ones specifically for tools. So the Grave Digger, the Wood Splitter, Bunker Buster, and Iron Breaker. They will just give you a damage boost. And yes, I guess technically you can do 15% more damage against iron. So if you're using your robotic sledge to bash down doors, you could add the wood splitter mod in there and the iron breaker mod in there to get through the doors a little bit easier. So you do get a, a bonus uh, to block damage for these block types. However, other than that, they don't really do much uh, in terms of of uh, boosting your robotic sledge so use those if you'd like uh, but generally speaking they're just good for the damage boost then we have the burning shaft mod which uh, can be installed in melee tools and weapons uh and it let's see a melee item can double as a light source and set enemies on fire so this not only gives you the damage boost but also also gives you the ability to set zombies on fire which is sweet then, of course, we have the three grips. We have the ergonomic grip, which decreases melee stamina usage by 10 and increases weapon handling of bows by 10. So this will decrease the stamina usage of the robotic sledge, although there is no stamina usage with the robotic sledge. So, <laughs> again, this one will really only just uh, give you that damage boost. Uh, next up, structural brace. Lowers degradation by 25%. This is a good mod to throw in there because it makes your uh, sledge uh, degrade a lot fat or a lot slower excuse me and then fortifying grip uh, when health below 50 percent gain one hit point every five seconds again for the robotic weapons this one is really not I, I would not recommend it because generally speaking you're not actually going to be holding this and using this weapon in your hands you're going to be tossing it down on the ground and letting it do its thing and then we have the uh, Hunter mod, 100% damage to living beings. We have the flashlight mod, uh, put a flashlight on your sledge. And we have the Rad Remover, 
which disables uh, the regeneration ability of radiated zombies. So that is for later on in the game. So those are all of the mods that are available for this bad boy. Now, for me personally, I would probably go weighted head, burning shaft, structural brace, and then pick one of the three of these, or even you could pick any one of these as well. Like the wood splitter, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, you can use the robotic sledge to bash down doors. So get, get through doors a little faster. That wouldn't be too bad. I think for me now, I think I'm just gonna go the hunter mod. Yes, you're not gonna take your robotic sledge out, you know, hunting animals, but we have an extra slot, so we might as well use it. And there it is. Yeah, nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my other uh, bad boy modded up here, and we are gonna go and test this bad boy out. One thing I did neglect to do is test out the tier six uh, um, robotic sledge uh, at max level. Since we can have two of them, we're gonna put two of them by that door out, out by the shack, and we are gonna get attacked by a whole bunch of zombie jerks and see how these sledges do. So let me get everything organized, and I will meet you at the shack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, here we are at the shack. So as we discussed previously, the robotic sledge, the main benefit that it has, or the main use that I found for it is guarding your entrance, guarding the door uh, to your, uh, guarding the door to your house. So we are going to test this bad boy out and see exactly how well it can, it can, um, it can guard your door. But first, I'm gonna spawn in a whole bunch of Arlene's and I'm gonna use this thing in hand and see how quickly we can we can pound through these ladies. Because it does fire a lot faster now. But it still does not do a lot of damage. You'll notice I'm... Uh, I'm not burning through them very fast. Okay, so we're only about halfway through them and it did not, uh, it was not very impressive at all. So let's go ahead and get rid of them. And let's go ahead and try this thing out as a door guard here. So we're gonna set one here, and we're gonna set the other one on the other side. We'll say here. There we go. Very nice. And, oh, let me do a little clean up here. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and let's get a horde of zombies coming our way. And we'll turn their AI back on. Oh no, what am I gonna do? We'll run inside. Let's pop out of our body here and let's take a look and see how this bad boy does. Oh, look at that. Two of them guarding your door, not bad. <laughs> oh, she went flying. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Not bad. I, I will say that was not bad at all. So while I would not make uh, the robotic sledge a go-to weapon by any means, any stretch of the imagination, I will say, however, putting a couple of them in front of your door with your skills all the way up, you should be okay. They will do a good job of protecting uh, protecting your base. Um, they didn't do too much da much visual visible damage to the entryways here. There's not many not many discernible cracks. So uh, the robotic sledge fully fully leveled up, fully modded out. Uh, two of them protecting your door, not bad at all. All right, the next thing I want to update is the stun baton here. Now the stun baton, the when, last time we tested this, the stun baton repulsor mod was not working. So they have released a patch where apparently the stun baton uh, is working. The repulsor mod is working now. So we're actually gonna go ahead and take a look at that and see if it makes this weapon uh, viable. So we're gonna spawn in uh, just a few zombie Arlene's here. We just wanna get, uh, get a charge going. 
There, we got a charge. And now let's hit this one here in the, right here in the back and let's see what happens. Well, I guess she kind of went flying. She kind of more just fell backwards. All right, we got another charge. Let's do this one here. Oh, <laughs> she died. <laughs> All right, got a charge. Well, let's try this one. Yeah, see, she didn't... They fall down, but they don't really go flying. See, because the, the mod says... Install this mod into a stun baton and send zombies flying on the charged hit. However, she didn't really go flying. All right. Well, let's bring in a couple more. Let's maybe space them out a little bit. There we go. Now let's get ourselves a charge here. All right. Now let's try the power attack. Maybe the power attack will be... We'll send her flying a little bit better. Nope, just killed her. <laughs> well, let's try that again. All right, power attack. We'll go for the midsection here. See, that time she didn't even go flying. Man. All right, let's bring in one more. We'll try it one more time. Regular attack, charged up. Go fly it. Still not, okay, we got another charge, so fly. Well, this thing is just not doing the trick. I mean, a couple of times they fell over, but I would not exactly call that flying. I was I was picturing, you know, like when you hit them with a sledgehammer and they do uh, backflips and, and, you know, fly backwards five meters. <laughs> that's what I pictured when I read the words send the zombies flying so I guess technically it does send them it does something now before it didn't do anything now I guess technically it does uh, do a little bit more it makes them fall over so I guess that's something is it uh, enough to redeem the stun baton and, and, and make it worth using no no the, the stun baton still sucks but at least it's something it's an improvement I guess. <laughs> uh, now, there is one more thing that, that you can use to uh, buff the stun baton, and that is the candies. There's a, a candy that, uh, I think it's Nerd Tats, that gives you a, an area of effect of, for the stun baton, which I'm not going to test now. I'm actually going to do a completely separate video covering all the candies, and we'll cover it at that time. Uh, but I have tested it out. It is a little, it is kind of cool, but the only pr problem is it's still the stun baton. It still does crap damage. And it's really still not worth it, in my humble opinion. So there you go, folks. Those are the updates that, that they have made. The robotic sledge is now moddable. Even creative menu spawn uh, weapons are moddable. Craft, I've tested with crafting uh, the, the robotic sledge. All versions now of the robotic sledge are moddable. Uh, the robotic sledge used in tandem to put two of those bad boys at your door. And it does a pretty darn good job of protecting your base. And the stun baton still sucks. That's pretty much what we've learned. <laughs> oh. So there you have it, folks. Those are the updates to the robotics inventor tree and the stun baton. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in Savin's World. If you found this video helpful and or enjoyable, be sure to hit that subscribe button, engage notifications, and give this video a like. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.